backs up. Didn't even look at Robert. Straight down the stairs and out the door, like he wasn't even here. Where's he off to? Carnalton. We run out of bale of twine. We need a new pressure spring with that slip clutch and all. That bale's not gonna last many more years, you know. Right then. I think it's called for a bit of breakfast. I just want to check that heifer out first. Well, she's all right when I looked at her before milking. I just want to make sure she's all right. Can I have another one of these, please, love? I need all the help I can get this morning. Fine. I'll put them on Joe's desk, will you? Okay. Shall we have some coffee? Yeah, sure. Can I show you something, Mrs. Blit? This is uh, Wisdoms, the Cricketer's Bible. It's a yearly account of every run scored and every wicket taken in first class cricket. How about that? A.G. W. Turner. Not out 61? Me. <laughs> no, I played for my school several times, actually. Now, they always put the public school results in, of course. Been playing fields of Eton and all that. I didn't know you went to Eton, Mr. Turner. Well, not Eton exactly. Got them in college. No, I scored 61 that day. I could have gone on to make my 100. Happy days, eh? Yes, I suppose so. Not a very impressive team. The problem is trying to find a man who can hold nose one end of a bat from another. And this is supposed to be Yorkshire. It's the birthplace of English cricket. Oh, isn't Joe playing? No, no, I don't think so. I'd heard he was very good. I suppose he is in his own way, but not eligible. Regional manager, not strictly Beckendale. Could you uh, 
Get me Robin Parr in Lincoln. Publicity. That's what this is all about. There's no reason why Beckendale shouldn't cut quite a splash in the company rag. Local manager forges links with community. NY team effort at work and at play. What do you think? Helpless. We're all here, Mark. When you want someone to lean on, we're here. You can't push it. to see you here. <laughs> well, they're open. Uh huh? Well, what good is that going to do me? I dump the bike, get in the back of the motor, and we'll re-examine a question over a couple of pints. I've done much work on. As Mr. Turner oh, pointed out on. to me at some length. Happened at dinner time. Oh, thanks, Tell her I couldn't sing one. Don't worry, I'll be off down to the village and see how many other old mates I can find who don't want to have a drink with me. So all this up picks up the hay, rams it into this auger here, this thing here that looks like a big drill bit. Uh, so I, I've set the height of this pickup rear and the tines so that it doesn't hit the ground, otherwise it'll be damaged. Well, what happens if you just throw in the summer? Well, there's a slip clutch on the drive shaft, so it'll, it'll just stop. So what do you do then? You get out, clear it and start again. So the ram packs all the hay down, uh, the blade comes along and cuts it, then it's all tied up, it's pushed out the back. Just hang on here a minute. Well, can I have a go? Yeah, you know what to do. But if you fit here any funny noises, just stop, all right? Give me a shout. <laughs> OK. Still playing at farmers, are we? <sighs> Mind you, I wouldn't mind doing a bit of hay making myself if I got her to keep me company. You're not going, are you? Wait, what shot on you? Praying your pits, Alan. Don't be deft. Only Sandy did say that uh, you're a shareholder now. Proud owner of five sheep. You'll be changing your name to Sugden next. Why should I want to do that? Well, why not? Go the whole lot. Oh, come on. I haven't seen you for ages. Don't want to row. No, no, no. I suppose I'm just a bit pissed off. You like all this, dear? Stuck out here in the middle of nowhere. Surrounded by that much grass. Yeah, I do. Suppose it'll be all yours one day. Keep your nose clean. I can't say I've given it much thought this last week. Don't forget you've got to be a competition now. There'll be somebody else who's got a say in how it's carved up. Another little subject. I thought perhaps you might have had something to say about Mum. Let's see it. She said she was sorry she wasn't here yesterday. I didn't think you really wanted to talk to her. 
I said it was Jessie, Jack. Well, she missed a good do, didn't she? She was asking after you. I don't see what it's got to do with anyone else from now on. We got the performance over with yesterday. You're not the only person in this family who's lost Pat. I know what you're trying to say. I don't want reassurance. I don't need it. Are you going to walk out of the room every time somebody wants to talk to you? Yes, I am. One room to decorate, or an entire house. Either way, creating a home will help you get it right. Published in weekly parts for filing in practical binders, it will help you plan the layout of a room, help you choose a color scheme, show you how the same room can look in several different decorating styles, and give you all the options to help you get it right. Full of step-by-step -step instructions, useful tips, and bright ideas, creating a home is on sale now. I'm not a dentist, but I'm sure that what's in this silver box will make you change your toothpaste. You'll change because this is a toothpaste with an active ingredient which can actually control tartar. Here's your new toothpaste, Tartar Control Crest. Look, tartar is the hard scale your dentist has to scrape away. But now you can help keep it from coming back between dental visits with Tartar Control Crest. So now you can fight fillings and help keep your teeth tartar free. New Tartar Control Crest. Morning. The chef in charge of Finder's Crispy Pancakes takes his job very seriously. Whether he's inspecting ingredients or studying serving suggestions, he never stops. He's even been known to take his work home with him. Finder's Crispy Pancakes. The finest food, frozen. <laughs> Finished telling me how you were mentioned in Wisden. I didn't know that, Ella. Oh, really, sir. It's right. They were showing us this morning. A.G.W. Turner, not out 61, 1950 edition. Well, it just so happened I was looking something up and came across it while Seth was there. There was his age, school cricket, you understand? But, but played to a very high standard. Sounds ominous. We'll have to come up with a strong team. It's not everyone's in Wisden, the nose. You must be in uh, Wisdoms and all, Donald. Yes, I suppose I must be if they keep records at that obscure level. Well, it's hardly obscure. Well, you played for your school as well? Actually, I played for the college while I was at Cambridge. Well, well, there's no point in standing around here discussing cricket all day. There's a lot to be done. 
No one's there. I'll give you a lift. Start sorting Pat's things out. It's got to be done sometime. Yeah, uh, I hadn't thought about it. Right, I'll make a start then. Oh, no, it's all right. Uh, it's all right, Janie. Thanks. I I'll see to it. I uh, appreciate you thinking about it. You sure? Yeah. Morning. Don't know really. At least I don't know about Jack. He's put so much space between him and the rest of the family. Hard to know what he's thinking. I still expect to see her there, you know. But when she's not, I think she's gone shopping or something. Silly, really. Has Phil Pierce tried to get me today? No. Dragging his feet over this poultry unit. Shall I try for you? No. No, I'll give him another day. Don't fancy a row this afternoon. Do you want me to take him? No, it's all right, Ma. He's just hungry. Oh, that's all right. Thank you. Bye. Well, apparently it's all done on a computer. They should never have written to you in the first place. I told them to come through me. And I'm to write to the insurance company. No, it's all done, Ma. The garage was sending a report with an estimate of the damage. I'll deal with all the correspondence. I don't want Jack involved in the car. No, he won't be. I mean... They'll just have to send a check. There's no question that it was a write-off. I don't think he wants it. I don't know him well enough. It's the trouble. It, not interrupting anything, am I? Come oh, in. I must. I just wondered if there was uh, out I could do to help, like. That's oh, very, that's very kind thoughtful. Of... I thought I'd leave things a bit till they'd settle down, like. Oh, Sam. You're always welcome here, Ava. Only with me being sort of responsible for young and as godfather, I thought it were my place to come up here and help out. I know you've always found for when you've young ones around. Uh, um, uh, sorry to interrupt, Amos, but uh, I've got some things to get on with. I'll see you later, Mark. Hey, hey, don't mind me, Matt. Quite right, quite right. I don't want to be in way. Oh, isn't that smashing, eh? Little pop-up figures, eh? <laughs> Are you going to look at it? I am 
Not in Jack Lab. Oh, yeah, you must fall. Not so bad, you know. <laughs> no, I'm just sorting Pat's things. Uh, would you like me to uh, take me into Oxford tomorrow? Hmm? No, I don't think so. He's a grand little lad, Jack. Young Robert's got a right good pair of lungs. Yes, sir, he must, he has. Now then, young man, what is it you want? Auntie Pat's gone away. Uh... Jackie and me have gone our separate ways. There's no point in pretending otherwise. That's not true, Jackie. Well, he belongs there, don't he? I never did. Shall I stop feeling sorry for myself? That's not such a bad idea. Your mum and me, we used to go to this cafe once a week, special treat. Saturday nights, just before you were born. The bluebird hotton. I always had steak pie. And she had ham and uh, salad. Never varied. I thought I was on the way up then. You see, they weren't all bad days, Sandy. I know that, Dad. But things change, don't they? You, for instance, you're all grown up. I've been all grown up for some time now. What about this job, then? You like working at market? Yeah, it's all right. I've done quite a few auctions now. What, with all them tight-fisted farmers? <laughs> you sell out? Of course I do. I'm very good. Oh, you got prospects, eh? It's not depends if I apply for this job. What's that? Well, I told you Karen Moore's left, didn't I? Looking for a replacement. Go for it. I'd, uh... Faint heart and all that, Sandy. Well, I'm a bit young and I'm not really qualified. Now, listen to me, love. Don't waste your talents or your chances. They don't come often in this life. You reckon I would stand a chance, though? Definitely. Oh! I almost forgot. Go on away, present. Dad. Oh, try it. Fortune. Well, if you're going to be a career woman, you've got to have a good watch, haven't you? You don't need to be nice. 